Hi, my name is Cody Rawl. Would you believe that in 2012, I found a way to memorize vast amounts of information like the kind you find in medical school? In these five videos, I'm going to show you how I increased my score ranking by 40% between step exams. That's a full standard deviation on the bell curve. I really think these techniques can help a lot of people and I'm very excited to share them with you. So if you're interested, stay tuned and listen some more. I got a question for you guys. What do you think that ancient Greek orators and modern day memorization experts have in common? Well, they both use easy to use memorization techniques called visual memory and elaborative encoding. Before I found these techniques, I was bogged down in textbooks and flashcards. It seemed like all the work that I was putting into studying wasn't translating into test scores. You can imagine my excitement when I found out how well they were actually working. <laughs> These techniques harness your brain's amazing ability to remember a huge amount of visual information. Imagine being able to easily remember a 16-digit number like the kind you find on a credit card. Imagine being able to easily remember everybody's name at the hospital or at social gatherings. Imagine having more time for sleep, leisure activities, and of course, more time to study the material so that you reach a higher degree of understanding after the drudgery of route memorization is over. So I found that these techniques work when I realized I had been using a similar technique to remember people's names better. Somewhere, and I don't remember where exactly, I had learned that if you meet a new person and you imagine them shaking the hands of a person that you had met before with the same name, your brain would be able to make that connection and you could remember the person's name a lot better. For example, if I met someone named Andy, I would just visualize the new Andy shaking the hand of my childhood friend Andy. And that would allow my brain to make the connection between the two people, allowing me to remember the new person's name a lot better. If you wanted to take it a step further, um, to remember the last name, you could add things in. For example, if the new person's name was Andy Bishop, I could just, in my visual memorization, put a bishop's mitre on the new person's head. I could make that association, and I would be much, much more likely to remember the new person's full name rather than just forgetting it five minutes later. So imagine applying this to things like microbiology, pathology, uh, anatomy, any of the courses that you find in medical school. The techniques really work, and I think you're going to be very surprised at how well your mind is able to hold on to visual images. When you're just looking at text and books, it really doesn't lock it in like the visual memory techniques do. So I'm very excited to bring you the rest of my five part video series. Check out my book on amazon.com. 10% of proceeds are going to the Wounded Warrior Project. And also on my website, check out my free supplemental materials on keeping healthy in medical school. Thanks, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.